Hey guys, Jack here, and today's video is a little bit different, but it's something that I've planned on doing for a while now, and I think it could actually help a lot of people that create content for and also watch YouTube videos. I'm going to keep it as snappy as possible, and the gist of it is examining exactly what sort of quality and bitrate you should expect to get from all of the different viewing options on YouTube. And this is something that I used to think about an awful lot, especially when I started out creating YouTube videos, because when you start out, you want to get the absolute best quality out there. And now I feel like I've got a good grasp of it, and I think I can explain what might be the best options out there. Now, as I'm a gaming YouTuber, I've created a 30 second clip and rendered it out at 100% quality in 720, 1080, 1440 and 4K resolutions at 30 FPS. I've also rendered it out at 720 and 1080 at 60 FPS as that's a brand new and increasingly popular option now. I've then gone ahead and uploaded each of these videos to YouTube and downloaded them so I can examine the bitrate which YouTube compressed them to and then compare the quality. And I'm using a free program called Bitrate Viewer to load each clip and then determine the average bitrate and peak bitrate. I've also screen capped the same timestamp from each of the files so we can see what that means in terms of overall quality. It should be noted that to really see a difference you should watch this video in 1440 or 4K and no it doesn't matter if you haven't got a 1440 or 4K monitor this is about bitrate it's not about resolution just try and forget about resolution for the moment. So even if you watch 1440 or 4K videos on YouTube with a 1080 monitor you're still getting a much better quality because YouTube assigns those resolutions with higher bit rates. So, let's have a look at the numbers all in KBPS. First off, the 720p 30fps file gives us an average of 3001 and a peak of 4394. This is significantly less than the original file which was uploaded to YouTube and there is a big difference in quality. The overall image quality is muddy, lacks detail, it's blurry and text is hard to read, especially in the bottom left there. Next, the 1080p 30fps file. This gave us an average of 4130 and 7051 peak. Looking at the same timestamp image from this file, the overall quality is still poor. There's a little more detail in the background, but the text is still hard to read and you can just about make out some of the letters of the squad member's name in the middle of the screen there. And considering that most 1080p YouTube videos are uploaded originally with a bitrate between 10,000 and 20,000, there is a big loss in quality here. Okay, next up is the 1440p 30fps video file, and here we start to see a nice increase in quality. The average bitrate of this file is 9,894 with a peak of 15,603. As you can see, compared to the 1080p file, the quality is definitely better because of the higher bitrate. There's a lot more detail in this shot, the trees in the background are clear, you can see the details in the jumping soldier, the gloves of the player, the sleeves and even the minimap in the bottom left starts to become clearer. And now the big daddy, the 4K 30fps video file downloaded from YouTube. Bitrate Viewer tells us that this file puts out a whopping average of 22,150 and a peak of 33,175. So how does this translate to actual results? Well, as you can see, it's very nice and certainly a drastic improvement on the 720 and 1080 quality options. In motion, the 4K option looks amazing and can even be full screened and achieve desirable results. Nicely detailed minimap, textures and backgrounds, it looks great. And so out of the four high definition 30fps options we have, I'd say that it's definitely worth upscaling your footage to at least 1440p for good quality YouTube streaming. And also beyond that, if you've got the time to render at 4K and the bandwidth to upload bigger files, then why not? People can choose the 4K option if they want to and therefore they're going to watch a much higher quality video without needing a 1440p or 4K monitor. So what about those 60fps videos I mentioned? How do they stack up? Let's take a quick look. The 720p 60fps video clocks in at an average of 3294 and 5909 peak. That's not much more than the 30fps 720p option, but it does look slightly less muddy and the added benefit of 60fps makes a massive difference to fast paced video games like first person shooters. As for the 1080p 60fps video file, we scored an average of 5485 
and a peak of 9736, a much bigger difference than the standard 1080p 30fps version. And I have to say that the 60fps version of 1080p looks a lot better than the 30fps version to me, especially when in motion. It really does benefit from that extra bit rate, bringing out the details and 1080p 60fps just looks gorgeous on YouTube. In conclusion, what the hell does this all mean? Well, I think that if you're recording games at 30fps and want to put out a good quality, you should be upscaling them to at least 1440p to get that higher quality option. However, if you're recording games at 60fps, which is pretty easy now thanks to programs like Shadowplay, the 1080p 60fps option looks really good. But in terms of overall picture quality and detail, the 4K option trumps everything, but at the moment, it's only available in 30 FPS. However, with that said, I'd like to point out that some games and stuff like real life vlogs can still look really good on YouTube videos, even in 720p and 30 FPS. Slower paced footage that has less detail, flat colors and slower movement doesn't need a high bit rate to look nice. So take that into consideration, think about that too. What sort of games do you play? What sort of videos do you make? As for me, I play a load of fast paced shooters. So if I've recorded a game in 1080p 60fps, which is becoming my usual standard, I'll upload in that. And if I've recorded it in 30fps, I'm definitely gonna be upscaling it to get that extra bit of quality for those that want to watch it. And that's about all folks, thank you very much for watching, I hope this helps you out as a viewer, as a YouTuber, maybe you just find the whole thing a little bit interesting. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.